we've talked a lot about the like information landscape, which is a really important part mm. of this war and all wars. Um, put this up on the screen. This was interesting for a variety of reasons. Okay, so this guy, Jeff Morris Jr., who I'd, I'd never heard of before, but he's apparently like a tech executive. I know, former, I know Jeff. Former Tinder exec. Bit. You yeah. want to, like, is there any other context? You oh, no, yeah, I was going to say, he's a, he's a tech guy. Okay. He used to work at Tinder. That's how I know him. And he's yeah. very, you know, Israeli right. sympathetic here. So he started taking a look at the data on TikTok to see what was going on. Um, because he's observing like, oh, young people have a very different view of this conflict than older generations. So they get their information, you know, largely on TikTok. What's going on here? So he says, I looked at the data, saw that Israel is losing the TikTok war by a long shot. Um, as an example, the top hashtag is 3 billion views for Palestine versus 200 million views for Israel. If you look at at the other hashtags, it is clear Israel has a distribution issue. Now, I would um, personally say Israel has probably some other issues than just distribution. But it was interesting, the, uh, the concern here, that what was really to blame for the generational divide was the TikTok algorithm. Mm. Um, and the concern that, I mean, listen, for a long time, for many years, just lockstep support for Israel, no matter what they did, was the bipartisan standard in Washington. It was what you got out of every single American media outlet, certainly on cable news, et cetera. And so this is a bit of a panic around the fact that there are these other platforms and other ways that people are getting their information that don't line up with the way the ADL guy would say, like, get yeah, it. put this on the screen, you know, the CNN poll, this is going really viral. But it does show you, at 65 years old and above, Israel's military response is fully justified. They say 81%. 50 to 64, 56%. 35 to 49, 44%. 18 to 34 is only 27%. And I really believe that that comes from a place of war wariness more than anything. I've seen a lot of people be like, and you know, including, and look, I, I don't know Jeff well. You know, I've, I've talked to him maybe once or twice. Uh, I'm assuming like this is somebody who supports um, Israel and yeah. then is like, well, what is happening here? I would just really urge everyone for, look, with the TikTok alg algorithm, and you guys know, I would ban TikTok if I could, but it's not for reasons like this. It's for much bigger, like national security reasons about America owning his company. What does everybody tell you about the TikTok algorithm? What is it best at? It serves you what you already want. It's not like it's being right. created out of thin air. Right. It's that these people are ingesting this content and are sharing it around and are finding it compelling, which is very counter-narrative, and it's not because it's being forced.